I've decided to add a little monogram to this fabric. It's a part of a quilt, it's a square, it was already cut, so this is an afterthought. So how do you get something like this hooped up when you don't have hoops that are big enough? Well, yes, actually Viking does make hoops that are smaller, so if you're doing a lot of this and don't want to waste this much stabilizer, get the smaller hoops. But I want to show you the basting in the hoop feature. So I've gone ahead, you can either mark this or even just kind of take and crease and find the center point that we are working with. And I'm going to just slide the hoop on the machine. So what we want to do, I'm going to just go ahead and pull up a quick little, find my stylus, uh, monogram here. And I'll just do an S for Sarah. And I've got my 120 by 120 hoop on. So first thing I'm going to do is just kind of lay my fabric in. I can even use the kind of the bottom of the hoop along the raw edge. So I kind of know I'm, I'm semi-straight and perpendicular there. I can use the option to move the center. So put the, the center position. And then I can move that so I can see I can see I'm right about there. Or I can actually even just do this. I can put that needle down and just kind of slide it up. Okay, just, just something close there. Okay, so we know we're going to stitch. But before I sew, I want to use the fix button. You can do it here. Or you can actually touch this part here. That's going to put a little dotted line as the first thing it's going to sew. If you use a little spray adhesive, that can hold this in place while the first um, item is going here. So when we go ahead and push start, okay, it's going to stitch uh, an area. It's, it's okay to just kind of hold your fabric in place as it stitches. It's going to stitch a box around the size of the design. You can kind of see the dotted line around it. Those stitches are really easy to take out later. So go ahead and push start. Another place that this is good for is if you ever have any fabrics that are hard to hoop, like a big towel or something, or even if it's velvet where you don't want to crush the sides and the fabric in the hoop while it's embroidering. You don't want to hoop those fabrics, but this will actually attach the fabric to the stabilizer and keep it nice and flat during the embroidery process. And it really is a nice feature. So if your design was bigger, it would have done the dotted line around the bigger part of the design. So it's nice and close. It really does the job. Just make sure you always use the right stabilizer for the fabric you're using. I've got two layers of tearaway, which we always use on the back of our uh, cotton or woven fabrics. If you're working with sweatshirts and you don't want to hoop up the sweatshirt or something, just make sure you're always using the two layers of cutaway stabilizer. And that really does the job too. Another thing is if you're ever putting the water soluble stabilizer over the top of like a towel where the nap is going to be, that's another feature. You can almost, that basting stitch helps hold that piece that's floating on top not actually move around once it's actually uh, right before it starts to do the rest of the stitching. So it's a nice little pit. If you ever have to pin things or, or tape things, this is a great way and a great function to use. So once again, there's a little function here, but also that's what fix is right at the function bar that will turn that on and insert it right before your first color. So here we are. We have now a monogram in the center of the block. I could then take this over and put it into the quilt that I was doing and not have to actually waste all the extra fabric. So once it's done, you do want to just take your seam ripper, the embroidery is finished, seam ripper, and then go ahead and remove the stitches around and of course this tear away will tear away on the back side. If you're concerned about cutting your fabric, which can be a concern, you want to take your scissors and then trim from the back side. And then that way, if you clip anything, you're clipping stabilizer and not <laughs> fabric. So yeah, all those things that you kind of live and learn of, oops, I shouldn't have done it that way. So this will actually just remove all the, the threads from the top side. And here we go. Just keep on doing that. So that is basting in the hoop.